Okay guys, so hello to you all, once again, I'm going to make, you know, in this case, a special video that, you know, I found that most of the new, new arts, you know, they are interested in how to properly automate the strategies and I'm going to make a full tutorial on how to do that. This video which I'm going to show you right now, is going to, it can be available for any of the strategies that I am providing, you know, all the steps, you know, are going to be the same, the only difference is going to be in the product which, which you are going to use for the, for the alert. So let's take in consideration, for example, this pro that I have here, for example, the scalper. And in general, you will see that in all my strategies, you will already receive a strategy for the back test and an indicator study that is going to show you, you know, that is going to have the alerts for the entry and for the exit. So, for example, if you notice, if we take if we take the strategy, the back tester is going to tell us the long and exit, long exit, long exit, long exit. But at the same time. Because it's a strategy, it's calculating us and it's telling us more or less a percentage, a probability, better said, of how it would perform in the past. You know, this is here for its purpose, to tell us how it performed in the past and what's the probability, you know, that it's going to continue in the same way. And then we have this other one, which is going to be the indicator. And if you notice the indicator, the bytes and exit, it has the same logics that it has, you know, for, you know, like, like, the, like the strategy. The only difference is that here we have no numbers. Here we can only see on the screen uh, entry and exit, entry and exit, no more, no less. But with the strategy, we can also have the numbers. So that's the difference into them. And we are going to use the strategy in order to select the pairs. So for example, all these pairs that I have here, they've been selected by using the strategy for scalper or from the swing. And then once we have the pairs, let's say, for example, we take this one, we take the dodge pair, so then I'm going to show you an example uh, for for one pair and for multiple pairs. So let's take, for example, in this case, we want to make a bot for one pair. And our this one pair that we want to use is going to be dodge. So for this one, I'm going to activate again the, the, the indicator. And as you can notice in the alert, and this is going to be available for all, on all my indicators, you will already have these properties. You have a buy and an along, and so an, an entry and an exit. In this case, the entry is going to be long and the exit is going to be, of course, exit. So in this case, you know, the way in order to properly set up, you know, the, the, the conditions, we will have once per bar or once per bar close. If we are using one minute, it's okay to be used once per bar. But if we are using bigger time frame, like for example, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, four hours or whatsoever, it's better to use once per bar close in order to avoid repainting. But with one minute, you know, we, we, we don't care so much about this, but it doesn't matter. You know, if you want, you can use in both of them once per bar close and this way you are going to be safer. So yeah, I, for this, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I also create right now a new trial account with the three commas in order to how to show you properly set up, you know, a bot. So let's go in the three commas. And as you can see, we have this option here to go on the DCA bot. So yeah, initially first, before of this, you have two options. Yeah, you will need, so you will have your account set up, like the, the, the setup of the account, you are going to make it through the through the my exchange. So let's say, for example, your exchange is going to be Binance. So here, for example, you are going to be put whatever name you want, and you are going to have to put here an API key in your API secret. These two values, you know, if you if you don't know how, if you actually, if you will go here, like uh, an overview of three commas, how to create an API key. You click on how to create an API key and it's going to show you entirely how to get, you know, these values which we are needing here in order to create our exchange. So yeah, let's say we connected to our exchange and in this case, our exchange, like I said, is going to be this one, it's going to be the paper. So once we have the exchange, you know, made, we will go in the DCA boat. Like I said, we, in this case, we want to make a simple bot for one pair. We don't want to trade multiple pairs. So for this, we are going to create a simple bot. The composite is if we want to have multiple pairs. I'm going to show you the example for both of them. Imagine, like I said, in this case, we only try to, we only want to test with Dodge USDT. Or imagine you have another one of my products like Wi-Fi USDT or BTC USDT or ATH USDT or, you know, any of my products, you know, they, they are going to work. But in this case, because we are reaching Dodge, I'm going to make, you know, the, the test with, with the pair Dodge. So for this, I'm going to enter here and I will write Dodge USDT. I want to trade Dodge USDT. And in this case, like I told previously, my bot is only going long. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm telling it, okay, the strategy that I want to make, you know, is going to be long. Here is going to ask me, in what you do you want the profit to be made? And I told him, I want to make the profit in USDT. The base order size, 
and the safety order size. So the base order size is going to be the, the initial quantity which you want to put in the trade. So let's say you have $1,000 account and you want to trade 5% of it. So here, for example, you would put 50. In this case, for example, because of a demo account, I have 100, I have 10,000. And because I have 10,000, you know, I'm going to put here 100. You also have another option. You can put a percentage of USDT and you can put, for example, here one. And this case is going to take that. But yeah, I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to use like this. I'm telling, I want to make $100. You know, I want to input in this $100. So if I'm going to win, I'm going to win $105. But if I'm going to lose, I will be at the $91 because of the 9% and 5% take profit that we have. The safe order side in this case, with that a matter as because this is an option in general if we are going to use Martingale or after you have a lot, you know, you want to enter with a double position or stuff like that. We don't care about that. So in this case, it doesn't matter what number we are going to have. Then as a sat order type, I always recommend to enter market. So in this case, you know, once we have an alert, you know, we go entirely with that. We don't care about what's going to happen. So with the price, better said, the price that we are going to have is going to be a small uh, difference in weight of a couple percent of couple zero point some percentages. You know, it doesn't matter. So we go with the market price here on the deal star condition. We will go with the trading view custom signal. We will create like this. And then you have two options. Like in this case, for example, you can put an extreme big profit, like let's say 100 percent. It doesn't matter, you know, like from the from the yeah from the base order. And here on the stop loss, you can pull as well. Like, like, let's say we are not even using stop loss because the stop loss, we are going to have it from the strategy itself. So we are not going to use the stop loss. Like I said, the take profit, it doesn't matter. On the max safety order, like I said previously, we'll put this on zero because we don't want to make any new revenge trades. We just want to trade base according to the bot. So then we will go down. Maximum price. These are some other options, which for now we don't care. So yeah, we have our bot and then we go on create bot. Yeah. Well, I'm telling it, yeah, you want to start it? Yeah, let's start it. So we start the bot. And here, for example, if you noticed, we will have some sort of conditions. So let's say, for example, we will have the message to deal start signal and the message to close the deal, to close the order. So we will, we will use, in this case, these two options. So how we are going to use it? We copy this, we click on it, and it's going to copy it. Then we go on the dodge. And here on the dodge, I'm going to create an alert. And I'm going to go on the long. And here on the message, I'm going to put exactly the message that I'm going to take from the three commas. I'm just going to pull like this. And here, for example, on the other name, whatever you want, Dodge, USDT, one minute entry. And another very important option that you will have to put, it's here on the webhook URL. So on the webhook URL, if you go in, uh, or you can just, you can just search on Google, webhook URL, three comma trading view. Because I don't, I, I, I don't remember which one it is right now. And here you will find it. Webhook. This. So we will have to create. You will have to copy this link. So we copy this link that we have here. And here in the in the webhook URL, we are going to put this link. But because I don't want to overpass, you know, the webhook that I have right now for my Telegram bot, I'm going to keep mine. But imagine that this webhook that I have right now is this one. So we are going to connect, you know, with, the, with this. This is how we connect with the three, with the with the three commas platform. So we are going to create it. We tell it yes. Yeah, let's create it. In this case, it doesn't matter. And then we will create another alert. We are going to go on the next one for the close order. And here we are going to use the exit. And the same, I'm going to put here the message. This is going to be Dodge UFDT one minute exit. So now I have more, but let's go for those that I created right now. You see, we have Dodge, we have this alert, and this alert maybe. What it means is that this, as soon as they will trigger the, 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 the entry or the exit, all these entries they are going to be placed here. So you are going to go, for example, in the DCA bot. And these entries are going to appear here inside the, you know, inside the, inside the, inside the bot. But now I'm going to stop this for a moment. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete them. Now let's say, for example, so this is, imagine you have only one pair, but imagine you have five pairs. 
or 10 pairs. No, but for, for the purpose of this uh, simulation, I'm going to imagine that we have two pairs, but the procedure is going to be the same even that, that you have 20 pairs. You know, but I'm not going to make it because it's going to take a lot of time. But let's make it. So again, we want to create a new bot. And in this case, instead of simple, we are going to make composite. And like I said, I want to trade in this case. Let's say I want to trade again. I want to trade uh, Dodge USDT. And at the same time, let's say I want to trade, I don't know, I want to trade ADA USDT. I want to trade those two. In this case, like we said previously, you here, you will go on the max active deals. The max active deals, you always, I kind of recommend to have the max numbers of the pairs that you have. And here is the same. We want to go long, we want to go in the quote of USDT, but now in the base of the sides, the same like in the other one, how much you want to invest for each one of them. Let's say you have 100, 10,000, sorry, and you want to invest 100 on each one, again. We go again on the market price. We go here again on trading view custom signal, profit 100% because we are going to use for the other one, max safe trades to zero. So yeah, and we create a bot. Sure. Now, once we create a board, the same. This is going to be a composite board. Now, what we have to do, the same. We will have a message for entry and a message for, for exit. What we are going to take, we are going to do the same like previously. So, we will go, for example, on Dodge USDT. We'll create the alert. And here as well, you go on the, this, on long, and you tell on long, once per bar close, and again, bam. So, we will have this alert, the same like the other, the same for, you know, the same for, for exit. But now the only difference that it is, is that for example, because we have two pairs, you will also have to go on other USDT. So we will go on other USDT. And here as well, I will have to create the alerts. And I will put on long, once per bar close. And here I will put, but the difference is that now, instead of using a USDT dodge, I will write here USDT ADA because that's the name that we are going to take from here. You see, we will take USDT ADA. And the same both for long and for exit. Imagine, for example, then we make the exit. Here on exit, the same. We copy the next one from here. So it's going to be the exit. And here I write USDT ADA. And I create the alert. Now imagine, for example, you have another pair. Instead of two, you have three. You have BNB USDT. So the same, you would copy the message We'll go here, and the same margin is long. You would copy the message, but now you will put here USDT BNB. The same for long and for exit. And this is going. you are going to connect training view platform with the three commas platform. So then what's going to happen? Let's go back to the Dodge USDT. These all these trades, which you are going to see here, all these entries and exit is the same what you are going to see after that, you know, here in the bot. So that's how you are going to automize, you know, the, you know, this software with the use of, of the, of the three commas platform. So yeah, I hope this one is going to help you to properly set it up. Like I said, this function is available for all my products. They are all the same way. The only difference, like I said, is going to be the, the product. But the, the messages, you know, the text and all like that, like all these procedures are going to be the same. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And I hope this will help you with the doubts that you have. Good luck to you all.